guys, it's your girl Jessie Q and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing something really simple but I think it's really fun. Uh, this is in keeping with Emancipation Day celebrations that are probably underway, about to start in Trinidad. Emancipation is going to be the 1st of August and also this is a bit of upcycling. No. You guys know that I love taking old things and making them into something new. So that is no different from this video. I decided to take an old uh, pair of flip-flops that I had, one of the straps burst on it and I really wanted to do something with it. At first I had in mind to do a sandal out of it and I may probably just explain to you guys how you can go about doing that but sadly I didn't have enough of the fabric that I used to be able to do that sandal so I used what I had and I just did the slippers out of it and guys I know it's really simple but I actually love it I actually do I really do love it so guys before we get into this video please do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every time that I post and if this is your first video that you're watching on my channel <laughs> hey welcome to the Jessie Q family you are now a cutie and I'm so glad to have you here so without further ado let's get straight into the video all right guys so these are the materials that i'm going to be using to do this diy as you can see i have an old slipper here and i have these strips of fabric that i just folded in half on the wrong side sewed them together and then turned inside out is about two about one inch to one and a half inches uh wide and they are just the lengths of the strips that I already own. So y'all can do it about uh, 12 inches long to be safe. So what I'm going to do now is just mark out where I want all my new holes to be to make my slippers. And I'm just using a marker to mark out these holes. I want to have four sets of holes for my four straps for my slipper. So now that I've done that, I'm going to take my uh knife here you can choose to use an awl or as i know it as a, a toothpick to do this but i didn't have that so this is what i had to use and i want to be very careful and not to do it too uh close to the edge of the slipper just because you don't want it to rip further down so what i'm going to do now is measure i'm putting the slipper under my foot and i have measured the space that at the length sorry of uh, fabric that I need and what I'm doing is just adding one inch to every length that I get and that is to take into consideration the knots that we have to do at the bottom of it to get it to tie so be sure to note the measurements of your respective feet <laughs> these were just my measurements they don't have to be yours but we want to make sure you note the measurements and I would suggest what I actually ended up doing was uh, cutting it much longer for the rest. So for this first one, I measured it out and cut, you know, directly with my measurements. For the rest, I just cut them in half and cut off the excess when I was done. Uh, that was just because I, guys, I am going along with this as it goes. I'm making this up as it goes a lot of the times. And I just realized that, you know, I didn't need to do all that measurement. So that's why you're seeing the second and third strips the same length. So we'll come back to the fourth strip. But first, we're going to start with the first strip. And what we're going to do, I'm just putting my things in order here so that I know my pattern. What we're going to do is start with the first strip and I'm going to take my blade and use that to feed my fabric through my hole. So you want to take your time again with this. You do not want to uh, break or rip your slippers. You do not want to make any unnecessary uh, errors. 
and you do want to make sure that the seam on your fabric is on the underside you don't want the seam facing up so what I'm going to do is just go in with some knots and guys one thing that you can choose to do is actually take your blade and cut out that hole that you see they, they made a, a sort of counter sink so that you don't feel the knots when you're walking uh, you can choose to cut that out however my slipper was an old slipper and it was a bit worn down and I didn't want to cut any more than necessary so I chose I chose to have my holes you know to have the knots just sticking out but you do not have to you can choose to have a smooth flush finish at the bottom so I'm just tying my two knots and after every one that you do after every strip of fabric that you do you want to make sure to try it on and make sure it fits like it's supposed to readjust if you need to but you want to make sure to try it on at that moment so you know that you can still adjust it if you need to do it so as you can see i chose not to do those little cutouts at the bottom i'm making sure that everything is nice and tight and i'm just cutting off whatever extras that i may have I'm also now going to go in with some super glue and this is just to keep my knots in place. Guys, don't worry, this stuff is awesome. You are absolutely not going to have any frayed knots or the knot is also not going to uh, come loose. And what I'm doing is I am applying the super glue to the knot itself and then underneath the knot so that the knot is now stuck to the bottom of the flip flops. You want to give that some time to dry and then you want to start on the fourth strap now the reason why i'm doing this is because i originally intended on doing sandals but i did not have a long enough piece of fabric to do so so i changed it just to a slipper so you do not actually have to wait for this step uh, to do it at the end you can choose to do it at any time all right so now that we have that measured and cut you want to repeat the same processes that you had with the others so you want to do your knots make sure and measure according to your foot make sure that everything fits well nice and snug because you do not want to have you know slippers that are flip flopping all over the place <laughs> so that is exactly what i have done and I made sure that it will fit the shape of my foot. So guys, I just repeated it for the other slipper as well. And I made sure that everything was nice and secure. And this is the final look. I actually love this so much. I think it came out really well. And it looks nice and cool. I'll definitely be rocking this one. all right guys so that was our really super 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 simple flip-flops diy upcycle whatever as i said before i'm really happy with how it turned out i think it you know it was just a very easy way to upcycle a really simple item and now i have another use for my slippers and because I'm always wearing some sort of African print, now I have some slippers that match as well. Thank you so much for checking out this video, guys. And be sure to let me know in the comments how you feel about this DIY. And also if you have anything that you would like me to try. And guys, until the next time. Namaste, babies.